So uh, good morning, everybody. Um, first things first, I'm going to contradict myself completely um, from the last video saying we're not going to blow out spots. I think, anyway, I forgot to add, if you're into your skimming, which I am, um, I will, of course, be telling you where I'm going because I want people to skim. So right now, if you're still dark out, I'm putting socks on, putting shoes on, and I'm on the way to Cape Maria Van Diemen. Now, a lot of you people may know, and if, Mike, you're watching this, you'll be pleased to see that I've got socks and shoes on, because last time I did this, did this in bloody bare feet and regretted it the whole way. So, um, <laughs> I'm actually leaving from the different car park, the proper car park. Going to take skimboard, going to take some cameras. I'm trying to pack as light as I can. I don't actually know where I'm going from this car park, and it's still dark, so... Um, and I'm alone, so I've got to be bloody careful today and watch myself. But we're going to try, I'm going to try and score some skim, some good wave skim. We believe there's a lot of potential at this spot. There's only one way to find out, and that's the bloody go there. And it just so happens that it's the end of the country and it's a hell of a mission. So, um, <laughs> get ready, we'll get on the bloody track. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. My God, look at this. There's a meeting of the two oceans. Come on. Happening over there. We've got the lighthouse and the capes up here somewhere. Oh, I can't see it, but. And targets over here. So, so this is the path. I'm down on the beach making pretty good time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it around the rocks because I've got gear. So I'm going to take this track here behind me, which I haven't taken before. Last time we just stayed to the beach, but the tide's still a bit high. So I'm going to keep going. Actually, not far from the spot. It's certainly much quicker this way, and probably a fair bit easier. I'm willing to say. So huh, we'll get out there. Look at this, guys. Woo. Oh boy. Woo. All right, beaches in sight. Um, there's obviously no one out here. Just gotta walk down this hill. I've just scaled the steepest bloody part. I don't know why, just because I felt like it. So. Downhill, going to have a little feed when I get down there, have a look at conditions. Um, it's kind of looking okay from up here, hard to tell. I'm still, I don't know, okay away, but looks like there's shorey. <laughs> Okay, right, so here I am, um, Cape Maria Van Diemen. We're probably about uh, two hours after high, so the tide's still pretty high. Obviously, if you're ever doing a mission like this, I want to preach a lot of safety here. I'm out of, um, I'm out of cell phone range. There's no one else out here. I'm miles from anywhere. It's a hell of a long crawl back if I hurt myself. So um, I've got, I've got several people who know I'm out here today. Um, because obviously if anything's to happen and no one's heard from me by the end of today um, I should have a VHF with me and things like that but I don't probably should have a bloody personal locator beacon everything but I don't um, so today it's just I'm doing everything with a hell of a lot of caution obviously I'm going to jump into the housing now and try and get some photos with this camera right now and basically just just check the conditions out it's nothing too bad um, but safety is my first Priority today.
stunning spot. Look at that behind me. Um, I'm done. I sort of felt like I was going to quit before, you know, quit while I was ahead before I got hurt. I took one to the nuts pretty hard, so that was my sign to just just stop and get out of here. Um, it's like I don't know. I think it's almost midday, so I've been on this mission for quite a few hours now. Um, epic. Probably very very good skim if you could get a crew out here. A bloody big mission, so. I'm not taking the high road back, um, the one the mountain I climbed over because the tide's out. So we've got to duck down this hill over here, then I'm back on the beach and then it's about an hour. Yeah boy, the fun part. You ready to go? Oh yes, I am back. Um, I think I carried too much gear. The show must go on though, got plans for the Savo. I think I'm gonna go get wet and camp for the night. Today's turned into quite an eventful day. Um, I was meant to be camping out there tonight and just chilling out, but that kingy that I've just shot, which I'm not sure, it's good 20 kilo, easy I think. Um, but a hell of a scrap with a hell of a carry back around the rocks. Um, following on from last week's video, if you guys get a bloody thrill out of mentioning where I am, well I'll just delete your comments. So um, it's pretty obvious where I am, but. Uh, I really don't know what to say. I'm absolutely knackered. I've had a hell of a day. 
Um, this has changed probably the course of the weekend's plans. Um, certainly today, I'm gonna head back, we're gonna get this thing filleted. I didn't bring enough bin space or nothing. So yeah. <laughs> Right guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, um, did a pretty piss poor effort of filming this afternoon, I really don't know kind of um, what happened today, it was casually planned and it's turned into one of the best days I've had in a while, um, the kingfish went 127 centimetres, never weighed it, I actually was sort of guesstimating it um, smaller than what it was, the, like the kingfish weight calculator that you can look up online puts it at 27 kilos, so nice bloody fish, um, we're on again tomorrow, I'm wrecked, I'm sore, I'm cut, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.